I'm gonna try to keep this one uh, short and sweet. I'm gonna talk about how I made a quiver that was functional enough for a real vigilante to use. I still plan on making some tweaks to it and improving upon it. Uh, the main thing I was worried about was how to keep my arrows from falling out when I do my 10 foot ninja kicks and triple backflips. And then after that, I'm gonna go over how I made this green arrow mask. And then at the end, I'm gonna briefly talk about this thingy. All right, so the brands I use, This is Tiger Archery Arrows. Uh, at this point I've tested out three different kinds of arrows and these are definitely the best ones. And the quiver is Elong Outdoors. It's just a cheap flimsy quiver. I don't have heaps of cash to throw into this like Oliver Queen does. All right, so the first thing I did was look up how other people are doing this because I figure I can't be the first one to wonder how you keep arrows from falling out of a quiver. Uh, what I ended up finding is most people use bow quivers. It's just where you attach the arrows to your bow, basically. Uh, but I wasn't really into that idea. It's not very green arrow-esque. And then I found other videos of people using magnets. So I figured I'd give that a try. So I went to my local hardware store. I picked up the only magnets they had, which were little round ceramic magnets and uh, this like magnet tape, I guess you could call it. The magnet tape was not a magnet at all. I couldn't get it to stick to literally anything, not even itself, so like, I don't know why it's called a magnet, but that was disappointing because I was gonna use that to wrap around the bottom of it. Uh, so I went to the round ceramic magnets. I had to figure out a way to attach them and I would rather not damage my quiver. So what I ended up doing is taking uh, Velcro strips. I believe they are 3M and I put the big one right down on the bottom and I recorded myself testing these out. Uh, first I started with just the big magnet at the bottom. So then I tested it out with the magnets around the side. Each time I added another one, it worked a little bit better, but pretty much with any amount of shaking, the arrows would just fall right out. But it was better than nothing, so for a while I was actually going out and practicing with my bow uh, with the ceramic magnets in the quiver and I ended up having to replace the velcro strips a lot because every time I would pull out an arrow out of the target and stick it back in the tip of the arrow would stick behind the velcro strip and start ripping off the adhesive and it got really old trying to replace them all the time and the system wasn't really working that well so the next thing I did was look online and try to find some really strong magnets. Basically the same system, just better. <laughs> I 
I ended up finding these round magnets. But again, I didn't want to do permanent damage to my quiver. So I actually looked in my cabinet and saw that I had uh, these plastic cups. And they just happened to be the perfect size. That was just pure luck. So I repeated the same process as before. I took one magnet, attached it to a Velcro strip, put it in the bottom, tested it out. So that worked fairly well because the magnets were way stronger. I ended up uh, ditching the Velcro completely because the magnets were so strong that if I tried to pull out multiple arrows, it would take the Velcro with it. I had to do what I didn't really want to do and actually drill holes into this cup. I couldn't have the screws pointing out because it had to go into the quiver. I had to point the screws in, which is not great for the arrows because now every time I put them in or pull them out, it scratches up the side of them. I'm gonna go get some, uh, some flat tip screws that are shorter. I have four of these magnets in there right now. One on the bottom and three around the side. Uh, I would like to get another one and put on the other side. Cause when I stick an arrow in there, and if it goes to the side that doesn't have the magnets on it, then it'll fall right out. All right, so let's move on to the mask. So I started out with uh, this old, cheap Halloween superhero mask that I planned to use for a costume before, and I never ended up using it. I used that as uh, kind of the frame. To make the shape that I wanted, I had to look at a few pictures of Green Arrow's mask. It's kind of like a diamond shape, which was way far off from the shape of the mask that I started with. So I took a tape measure and a Sharpie, and I kind of measured out and marked off halfway points to, so I could make sure that it was symmetrical on both sides. I used a seam ripper to cut off the uh, the headband straps. So here you can see I cut out uh, kind of a diamond shape. I managed to make it pretty symmetrical. Uh, I didn't really like the rounded edge on the bottom. So I ended up marking the halfway point from the bridge of the nose down to the bottom of the point, making sure to measure and get it symmetrical on both sides. Marked it with a Sharpie and then cut across. So once I was finished with the shape, I had to go to a fabric store and pick out some green fabric, which is surprisingly difficult to find for some reason. And then the hard part started, which was trying to get the fabric over the shape of the mask. So I laid the mask on the fabric. I glued down, starting with the bridge of the nose. And then I kind of moved my way around, pressing it down over the edges and glued around. I tried to keep it mostly on the inside because sometimes the glue will stick through. You can kind of see right here, the glue pushed through the mask. So I wanted to make sure that most of it was on the inside where you can't really see. To do the eyes, I took my seam ripper, poked a hole and did from one end to the other. And then again, super glue, pushed it in. Uh, by the end of this, my fingers were starting to lose a little bit of skin from peeling them off. So then the last step was to try to figure out how to stick it to my face. I really didn't want to have to add headbands because I felt like that would have ruined the shape a little bit. There is a type of glue that I found online that you can use on your skin. It's supposedly safe. I didn't want to have to screw around with that because just like the quiver, I wanted everything to be functional as if a real vigilante could use it. A real vigilante wouldn't take the time to put glue all over their mask and on their face every single time they're gonna throw on their mask. So the easiest thing to do was to just cut out straps. This is just super glue to attach it. So if I decide later on, I do wanna use the face glue. All I have to do is take my seam ripper, rip this off. Hopefully it doesn't damage it too much. The damage should be on the inside. Just to give it that more comic booky feel, I took the Sharpie and gave it outlines. But you can't really see that well. I'm probably gonna make them thicker. Every other piece of my costume is either 
clothing that I already had or I just ordered off of Amazon. If I was rolling in dough and I knew a lot about cosplay, I would just make the, the entire costume from scratch. But I don't have the money to just buy a bunch of supplies and then keep messing with it and screwing it up just to have to buy more supplies to get it right finally. So that's where I'm at with that. So I'm not gonna shove this product down your throat. I mean, you can do that on your own. Ray's Shadow Legends. It's called Ray's Energy by Rep Sports. If you're a energy drink connoisseur like I am, and you've been looking for an energy drink with zero sugar and no crash, I encourage you to try this out. I wouldn't advertise this if I didn't actually think it was good. Uh, I actually drink this on a regular basis. Uh, I genuinely think it's the best energy drink I've ever tried. And they say you get no crash afterwards, and I don't think I've experienced one. You'd be doing me a huge favor and yourself a huge favor. I'll put the link down in the description. It's 15% off. There's no limit to how many times you use it. And let me know what you think about it.